Hello friends, it's Suzanne here. Welcome to another Wildcard Wednesday video on my YouTube channel and blog. For today's project, I am featuring the amazing silhouette stamp set and dies. These come together in a bundle, so you can save 10% by buying them together. So it is a bundled savings and they are $60.25 Canadian. I'm also was asked recently from one of my team members if I could share some uh, techniques using the ink refills. So these are also at a bundled price. You can get um, a family of colors for 10% off. So the ink refills are $45 Canadian, or you can just buy one for $5, uh, whatever color you like. So here I am using a baby wipe stamping pad technique. So I just have three baby wipes. I folded them quarters and now I'm choosing five colors and I honestly can't remember. I think that was Mango Melody, Flirty Flamingo maybe. You know those two colors I like using real together. So it's a color combination I reach for. You can see that I have my stamp um, next to my little quartered um, baby wipes because I need to know how big I need to make this little stamp pad. And as you can see, uh, with those five colors of ink refills, I'm I'm dotting on the ink and I'm filling up all the gaps. So that is the trick. You have to have uh, ink everywhere. It will spread out the longer you wait with this, but for the freshest experience and for the mottled effect, you definitely want to um, have a close uh, ink. So now you, now you can see I've uh, used it as a stamp pad and you're, this, is the, this is my trial. So um, it's a beautiful result. Uh, and now I'm starting with a quarter panel of basic white and stamping that on and holding it there for a second just to allow the ink to transfer. And this is a beautiful technique. So Gladys, this technique is for you. Um, I know that there are many crafters in the that are watching this video. If you want to give a shout out to um, my friend and maybe throw some ink refill uh, techniques out there for her, and maybe I could even film them if you want, just throw them in the comments if you know of an ink refill technique for her to try. So this is a mini cut and emboss machine. I have the Amazing You. I'm using polished pink here, and I think that was one of the pinks that I used in my ink refills. So I'm cutting out this, this die set is, well, it's amazing. So this is the shadow. And what I ended up doing was I cut the actual word amazing three times uh, and I used adhesive sheet behind. So, and I know you've seen this before, so I'm going to really breeze over it, but I have three uh, die cut words and on the back they have the adhesive sheet. So I'm making them stickers. I remove the release paper and I'm stacking them up. I like the number three because I think it is a uh, nice height. It's not too high. I mean, you could go nuts if you wanted to, and but I think it's a, a good mailing uh, size. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm just creating a thicker sentiment for the the card. So I'm removing the release paper here and uh, applying each word to itself. Uh, it is very easy with your take your pick tool. And I have been a little bit more vocal on Facebook as with my postings. And I, I made comment about this particular tool because it is a very used tool on my craft desk. And I do find that it is, um, it's worth its weight in gold. 
So now you can see I, I, I definitely use the tool to sort of uh, not only remove the release paper, but also to uh, like shore up the the die cuts together it's nice getting I can can go in I can go in like the the loops of the the writing and be able to sort of make sure that all of the die cuts are stuck together uh, equally like they're stacked up evenly I should say so now I just made a I'm making a sticker of um, the shadow die and the word die it's they're beautiful I love them I wish they had happy birthday in this everybody go and ask Stampin' Up for happy birthday in this type of die cut so I really liked it uh, this is a fresh Frieza Frisia uh, card base and I'm just adhering my card front to the card brace I know that you can hear a little difference in my voice. Um, I have just been uh, talking through a, sort of a double mask at work and I'm losing my voice because I really have to raise my voice. So my voice is right now um, under a little bit of stress. I'm fine. Um, I just uh, have been, <laughs> I'm not used to talking so much at work <laughs> or I haven't been to at, at work for very long. It was my first week back. So <laughs> I'm chatting a lot. I waited to the very, very end of the night to do this voiceover because my voice was a lot worse. So I do apologize that I sound a little bit like a frog, but um, it's just a voice overuse. So I had struggled with this design and the reason being was because right underneath the amazing there's that butterfly and I love the colors but I struggled with it because I felt like it looked weird. So what I ended up doing and I'm using these new brass butterflies. Oh my god they're so pretty. Uh, they're sparkly and shiny and golden and they look great with pink. So I was struggling with this. I'm like, mm -mm, no, I don't think I like it. So what I ended up doing was I moved the uh, butterflies and then I ran out of my glue. So I have now some, but I used uh, mini glue dots to adhere the uh, word dies. And then what I ended up doing was I just cut a piece of Highland Heather, which was one of the other colors that I put in there. I think there was Polish Pink and Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, uh, Highland Heather, and mm, I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're not going to duplicate this. This was just um, to kind of show you how to use the, uh, the, the pad the stamp pad. So anyway, what I did was I just put Wink of Stella over that circle die cut. And then I was able to um, hide that butterfly so it wasn't so busy. And then I applied my Wink of Stella to the butterfly wings and also to that Highland Heather die cut. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> it's all done. <laughs> uh, you can see all the supplies I used today listed below in the video see more section or in the supplies section of my blog. Those fast links will take you to my Canadian online store. I would love the chance to meet you and earn your business. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now. <laughs>